Hi guys, it's Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently just coming up to half past seven on the evening of Sunday the 31st of October, Halloween. Uh, I'm about to watch Hocus Pocus because again, Halloween. And I'm currently reading The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert, which I'm hoping to finish in the next day or two, so we will see. So that's where we're at. Dane reads. Yo, I was having a stretch. It is, when is it? It's um, Monday the 1st of November. It is currently about 10 to 5. The clocks have gone back, so it's darker than it would normally be at this time. And now I have a low battery indicator, so that's always good. I finished listening to my, uh, my vinyl records of The Shadows, and I'm just currently getting towards the end of the Bear Jams one that I bought at the gig I went to on Saturday, so that's good. And I've also got Return to Oz on, I'm sort of hopping between the two depending upon what I'm doing. I had my counselling earlier, that went pretty well. Um, I've got, I think I've only got like two, two or three more sessions of that left. Um, I've got a client call at 6pm, I'm also super tired, so maybe I should make some coffee, we'll see. Cracking on with the alphabetization of the books in the living room, getting there now. Did a little tiny bit of stuff in the garden earlier. Uh, I'm hopefully going to crack on with that a bit more tomorrow, but we will see. Um, yeah, just working through my to-do list. It's pretty big at the moment, to be honest. And I'm currently reading, uh, I'm still finishing off uh, the, Haunt, the Secret of Crickley House. I think that's what it's called, by James Herbert. I'm about 40 pages to, from the end now. Um, I have enjoyed it. It's probably been a 4 out of 5 for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, full review coming soon. And next up, I'm going to pick up uh, The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, which intimidates me because it's a lot of small print. It's a very, it's like a dense read, you know? So it's going to take me a long old while to get through it. Um, but it's nice. I've been getting my teeth stuck into some longer books recently. Um... For this week, I think all I've got planned, I've got some client calls and stuff, but the main thing I've got planned, I'm seeing Sabrina on Friday to, um, we're going to practice some of the tunes that we're going to do at the open mic, so that'll be nice, and then on Saturday my friend is getting married, so I need to sort some clothes for that, I need to do that soon, I think I also have a cleaner coming this week, um, so yeah, we will see. So that's where we're at. I'm going to go and edit some videos and stuff. Oh, praise the Lord that I don't believe in because I was supposed to have a client call in five minutes and I'm very tired and they've just rescheduled. So my, my fresh black coffee, black like my soul, is unnecessary, but I'm going to drink it anyway in my cat dad mug. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I just heard a noise and I hope, hopefully, we're going to go and have an investigate. Hopefully it was just my, um, my air freshener. I've got one of those timed air fresheners that goes off. It was either that. Good, I can smell air freshener. It was either that or it was books falling down. It is not books falling down. Oh my God, guys. All right. So I've been alphabetizing everything. Okay. So this lot, all of that is now done. So, all that leaves us, I'm going to use that as a shelf. So, we have, what, what piles have we got? Down there, C, C, D, H, E, F, G. Um, and then this bookcase space there. So, I'm cutting it fine. I don't know if I'm going to have enough space, to be honest. But I'm going to try my best. But yeah. I've been slowly but surely, over the course of the last 10 days or so, I've been alphabetizing all that lot. I also had a cleaner in today, so it smells nice and looks quite nice in here. Because um, as I say, I had this cleaner. She's, she's uh, coming in once every two weeks now. So she went, was over today and had a nice little clean, which helped. Um, I'm in a bit of a bad mood because books kept falling on my fucking head while I was alphabetizing them. But I now, as I say, I just have those ones left to do. Um, those letters, they're grouped by author surname, so I still need to, basically need to then sort those into further order and then slot them back into the, book, uh, the bookcase. And then I still have all of the vinyl up there to alphabetize. But at least that I can just do in here and it won't keep falling on my head, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. But yeah, that's what I've mostly been doing this evening. I had like three or four phone calls today, which is a bit of a nightmare. I should say the date, shouldn't I? It's Tuesday the 2nd of November. It's about 25 past nine. So my plan, I, want, I really want to finish alphabetizing those books this evening. That's like my goal for today. Um, and then I might even have some food after that. I've not really eaten because I've been busy doing this fucking alphabetization. Oh my God. Uh, 
Um, reading wise, I finished reading The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert, 4 out of 5, very good. I'm now reading The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. About 80 or 90 pages in, this is a buddy read I'm doing with Charles Heathcote, although I haven't caught up with him since starting to read it. And I'm enjoying it, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I think I'll probably have finished it by uh, Friday. Um, it is, like, overwritten a few times because it's a Victorian book, but overall, as I say, I am enjoying it. Uh, I'm just going to make a note. I need to shave my face as well. My radio show went out tonight, and I also did an interview today for a future show, so that's good. Um... Yeah, it's it's all been a very productive day. I'm just tired and annoyed because of books falling on my fucking head. Did I mention that some books fell on my fucking head? It was fucking annoying, mate, I tell you. So, yeah, and I'm just catching up with my uh, YouTube subscriptions as well. I watched uh, the two Adams Family's movies from the 90s earlier, and they were very good. And Raul Julia is great, so I'm going to watch uh, the Street Fighter movie because he played M. Bison in that. And it's kind of one of my guilty pleasures of when I was younger. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got for you. I haven't got anything. I've been fucking alphabetizing books all day. Yo, cheeky vlog update. I have finished alphabetizing the books. Um, I'm going to go and shoot a little bit of footage in there now for um, my house tour. But then I'll probably also do a library tour video as well. Because I know that people are going to want it. I'm shattered. But it's a job well done. Ha ha ha. Now to do the vinyl. <laughs> Hello, it's me. It is currently 20 to 11 on Wednesday the 3rd of November. I don't have a huge amount of stuff to uh, update you on. I did an interview for my radio show earlier with a band called Psychopomp, uh, who has uh, one of their members is called Reg the Nose, who looks exactly like you would expect somebody called Reg the Nose to look. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I have started the long process. I've started the long process of alphabetizing all of the singles that are up there. Um, so, um, I'm still reading uh, The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I'm coming up for halfway through, still enjoying it. Um, so there's that. I feel like maybe Charlie isn't going to enjoy it as much as I do, but it reminds me a lot of reading um, any true crime, really. Um, but in particular, it reminds me a lot of In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, where it's quite like detail heavy. Um, like it's slow going to get through it, but it's it's worth sticking with, or at least I found it worth sticking with. So there is that. Um, did a little bit more work today as well. Still going with that. Um, it's a little bit of a mess in here. <laughs> oh no. Um, but that's because I've been doing some other stuff and uh, doing those vinyls and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, uh, it should all be nice and tidy in here by the time I go to bed. So that's good. Got my outfit prepared for the wedding I'm going to on Saturday and they're going to make me some vegan food, so that's very exciting. Um, also, a lot of stuff on my list is like very quick stuff, so like one of them is like, cream your arm. Because, weirdly, my tattoo is now mostly healed, right? That one, my new one, all mostly healed. But this one up here has gone all dry and bumpy in some places and like quite itchy. So, I don't know whether the new tattoo is making me have an allergic reaction to the old tattoo or what it is. Um, but yeah, so I just need to cream that and just keep an eye on it, I suppose. I mean, it's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. Um, my sleep's been a bit weird because my anxiety's been a bit strange. Um, I also, I've come off one of my medication because I ran out and I tried to get some more today and the doctor's website wasn't working. So I'm just like, great, I, I can't get any medication. So that's annoying. Uh, in terms of stuff on my filming list, so after I've done this, what else we got? I've got the garden tour to do, uh, which is the last bit of my house tour video. Which, by the way, um, the garden, so the bins came today, so I've managed to refill the bin. Um, and I've got one of them that I've left empty, so that hopefully... Because the problem I had before is I filled the bins as soon as they came. And then I ended up just with crap piling up in my garden again. I mean, I do still have a pile of crap in my garden, but it's all cardboard and, like, wood. It's all stuff that doesn't matter if it stays outside I guess rather than like I don't want to have bin bags full of rotting food and stuff out there you know um, what else did I do I planted a couple of bits um, I got my hanging basket brackets to hang these hanging baskets up on the fence those arrived today but they came with the wrong size screws so luckily I have some other screws so I'm gonna give that another go tomorrow and actually because I had two baskets, I've ordered a second hanging basket. I also ran out of soil. So there was only so much I could actually do outside. I've also started painting the fence panels, but again, I can only really paint, like, I can paint one side of one. 
and then I have to leave it to dry and then paint the other side and have like five of these things so I'm going to slowly but surely attack those um, but yeah so I don't know when I'm going to film the garden tour probably before it's finished because it's going to be another two weeks before my bins get emptied again and that's going to be like the earliest possible time for when there's going to be no crap in the garden so you, you might just have to put up with that with a bit, bit of rubbish out there but yeah that's where we're at. Um, so I have the garden tour bit to do. I have a couple of quick radio bits to do. My review updates for the Moonstone. And then tomorrow I'm going to record Polly by Nirvana. And Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day. Because uh, me and Sabrina, or Sabrina and I I should say, are uh, working towards doing cover covers of those. Um, she sings and also plays keyboard. Um, and she's going to teach me to do proper harmonies. Because I've never really learned before. Nobody's ever taught me. So, for example, when I do Polly, I'm going to send, there'll be two files, there'll be one of just the guitar, one of vocals and guitar, and then she's going to record herself doing the harmonies to my vocals, and then send me back a version, I guess, of her singing lead, and one of her singing the harmonies, so I can learn the harmonies and practice those. Um, I need to figure out the solo as well to a Hailstorm song. Um, yeah, so I've been, that's another thing I've been doing is like looking at chords and stuff for some of these songs we're going to do. But yeah, that's, that's where we're at. So I'm going to go and do some more filming and then maybe a bit of editing tonight as well. We will see. Oh, it pinged at me. Hello, it's vlog time. It's currently Thursday, the 4th of November at 25 to 10 at night. Productive day, really. Uh, I've been carrying on alphabetizing the uh, vinyl singles. You can see up there, those ones are all done. And then, where are we? They're down here. Those two piles are both alphabetic uh, piles, alphabetical order, um, both starting at J, and then I just have to basically assim- oh god. And so I basically have to assimilate those two piles into this longer pile that's already done, and then just put them away on the shelf. Oh, actually no, there are also those there, but those are also in alphabetical order as well. Um, so yeah. Just gotta keep on, keep on rocking. Um, I've just been listening to Green Onions by Booker T and the MGs. What a tune. I assume Booker T's dead. Hey Google, when did Booker T die? Google's having a bit of one. Anyway, Booker T is not dead. And apparently he's still performing. He's only 76, he's doing all right. Anyway. Sorry, Booker T, if you're watching. It seems unlikely. Uh, yeah, I was listening to that because I was chatting to Sabrina about uh, the Adams Family because she's really into it. And so um, I had a craving to watch the old movies. Well, I say old, from like the 90s. Um, and then I remembered how much I love Raul Julia. So then I watched the Street Fighter movie. And then I watched the new Adams Family movie. Adams Family 1, not Adams Family 2, which is the newest one. Uh, but yeah, uh, what's the name? Lurch played that on the piano, and now it's stuck in my head. Um, I also watched the um, the mystery of Crickley Hall, or whatever it's called, the secret of Crickley Hall, um, and that had bloody hell. I've been trying to remember a name, and I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. They made some changes that weren't really necessary to it, like though, like there was the psychic in the book, um, Lily. She was. Um, she didn't like Crickley Hall because she was like haunted by her own ghost. Um, basically some guy like cheated on his wife with her and then the wife died and kind of haunted her. Um, and in the movie she went to Crickley Hall and she was pregnant and then she basically had a miscarriage and could no longer have children. That was why she didn't want to go back. It was just like, I don't, I don't know, I don't think it needed the change really. But yeah, I mean it was good enough, it was only a three-parter, did the job, so that was good. Um, I'm currently just catching up with some YouTube and stuff. I guess later on. Oh, I also watched East is East because I read the play by Ayub Khan Din not too long ago. And there's a sequel to that called West is West. So I'm going to watch that soon. Um, and then, I guess. See, I'm trying to watch stuff that I've downloaded. Um, which only leaves the Adams Family TV series. And there's loads of episodes. There's so many of those episodes. But actually, like, I'm slowly copying them across from one computer to the other. And because I haven't finished copying them across, I don't really want to start watching them because I, I might be missing episodes, I don't know. Oh, I do have The Addams Family 2, which is the new one. Yeah, see here, actually, there's actually nothing in that. 
so yeah so I do I only have West is West in the Adams Family too um, but yeah as I said I'm trying to watch the stuff that I've got downloaded that are on my Mac's hard drive because then it frees up space for me to edit basically because a few times I've tried to render one of my reading vlogs um, and the renderings failed because it's ran out of space because Dropbox has been running and it just keeps constantly downloading new stuff um, I mean I can see now I've got 47.8 gigabytes of Adams Family uploading and I've only got 11 gigabytes of hard drive space, so I need to do something about that. Um, but as I, you know, render things and whatnot, then I can delete them. So I'm just looking now, actually. October Hall, I can delete that. That's 4.22 gigabytes. Oz, I can delete that. Open Mic, I can delete that. Uh, these are all what I finished editing yesterday, you see? So that's already freed up a little bit of space. Let's see, we've got 11 gigabytes, and then we're going to empty the bin. And that puts us on 21 gigabytes. So we're doing a lot better there. And obviously once I've finished rendering the vlog, I can upload the vlog, delete the vlog, delete the vlog core files. It's like, you know, you know I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm talking so much shit today. The other thing is, is I got a pizza from Papa John's because they're currently doing a, a promotion because it's uh, National Vegan Month or something. So they're doing 50% off their vegan pizzas. So I got a pizza and, um, some like vegan chicken bite things, so that was delicious. Um, yeah, and I went into town earlier, so I dropped some parcels off. I got a spare key cut. I got my medication, which I've been out of for a while, and I got some stuff to make a curry. I uh, built a birdhouse for the garden. I've painted some more of the fencing panels. So yeah, overall been a productive day. So my goal for the, re the end of today is to try and finish off alphabetizing those singles. And then from there, if I can, I want to make a start on the actual vinyl records because they shouldn't take as long. And actually, the way they are, look, they're kind of facing forwards like this. And I'm going to rotate them so the, the spines are out. So actually, that's going to save quite a lot of space up there. Uh, speaking of space, actually, I've made some space under there. There used to be two little mini bookcases there, um, but I'm not really using them. So I'm going to turn them into planters outside. So that box now has just got all of my guitar equipment in. That bin's gonna come over here in a bit. Um, I did have a bin there that was a smaller one, but I'm just gonna get rid of that. So yeah, lots of housework, lots of productivity. Did some recording earlier as well. Um, and that's about it. So now I just wanna very quickly um, do some up updates on my review of the Moonstone. And then, uh, yeah, I got like some work and stuff to do as well, and some editing, so that's that's my plan. Yo, 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 it is me. It is 20 past 10 on Friday, the 5th of November. So it's bonfire night here in the UK. Um, for the Americans, it's to do with Guy Fawkes. Uh, he tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament. So we celebrate that every year for some reason. Well, I mean, I guess... <laughs> it's very British to celebrate the fact that someone tried to kill the politicians. But yeah, we celebrated by setting off fireworks and people set up bonfires and burn like an effigy of Guy Fawkes, basically. Um, so I could see a few fireworks from my window, which is quite nice. I'm just being productive. I had a big box of books in the post, um, which they're all French. I actually only found two that I want to keep, um, but I filmed a little haul of that, so that was cool. And dun, 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 the alphabetization is finished. So that's that's that. I have nothing left to alphabetize, which is a bit of a relief. Um, I did some more of the fence panels today. I'm probably about a third, slightly over a third of the way through painting all the fence panels. So I'm gonna finish that over the next week or so. Um, I have some black paint coming as well, because I'm gonna paint um, the little mini bookcases I've got and turn them into planters. So that would be cool once that arrives. I've got some varnish on the way as well to varnish some of the stuff I'm keeping inside. Um, but other than that, my jobs aren't too numerous or too long. I need to cut my hair. I need to take photos of all of those books and put those books away. And also I got a bunch of vinyl from when I was sorting. I found some duplicates that I had. Um, mostly though, oh, I've got things to do like, uh, see, empty the kitchen bin, do the washing up, bake some bread, Biggie's bowl and litter tray. I've got a cat DNA test to give him, which can be difficult. Clean coffee filter, shave my face, get a meter reading. So I do have like, I have stuff to be doing, um, just not loads of it. It's not scaring me how much stuff I have left to do. And basically the only other thing I'm waiting for now is um, from the doctor's surgery to update their records so that I can go to the doctors that's nearby instead of the old one I used to go to, which was on the other side of town. 
I made a stir fry eat earlier, which was nice. I've read some more of the um, my bedtime read, which it's H.G. Wells, and I can't. Oh, it's the new Machiavelli. It's called. It's dreadful. It's basically like literary fiction with a bit of romance and 19th century politics in and I, I just don't really even know what's happening and I'm only like 40 50 pages from the end so I'm hopefully gonna finish that soon and move over to a bedtime book that's slightly more interesting uh, I'm reading one of the Asterix books as well and then obviously I can replace Asterix with this other French book that I've got which is good because I like to have a French read going uh, and then my main book, I'm still reading The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I'm about 80 pages from the end now. Charlie has posted a video called Nosy Parker Reads Classic Detective Novel, which I will link to below, which will be him talking about The Moonstone. But I don't necessarily want to watch it yet because I haven't finished reading it. I don't know whether he finished reading it when he posted it. So we will see. But I am looking forward to reading that video. I also watched... Um, West is West, which is the sequel to East is East, and actually I thought it was really good. I thought it was probably better than East is East. Uh, I have The Addams Family 2 to watch as well, uh, even though it's currently only in cinemas. I'm not going to tell you how I got that, because that would incriminate myself. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at, and I've got a few filming bits to do, which I'm going to go do now, and then maybe a bit of editing tonight as well. We will see. I'm kind of nocturnal. I, 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 woke, I went to bed at about 4 last night and woke up at like 1pm. Then I had like a 3-4 hour nap earlier. So I don't know, I have to be at this wedding at half five tomorrow. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to a wedding. Yeah, hopefully it'll be alright. I don't like weddings, but I like the people who are getting married, so it should be alright. Yo, it is five past three on Saturday the 6th of November. Um, I have to go and shower in a bit and then get ready because I'm meeting Fran at I think 20 past 5, quarter past 20 past 5 to go to Wicker Museum for this wedding. I will probably take my camera and might, I don't know about like vlogging but I might get a few video clips while I'm there and some photos because Sophie whose wedding it is uh, has added me and a bunch of other people to like a collaborative Facebook album where we can all post any photos we take and stuff so I thought it'd be nice to take my camera along. Uh, in the meantime, I'm getting a little bit of work done. We have a bit of a plumbing problem at the moment. Um, same problem I had at my last house. Basically, there's a blockage in the line somewhere. So sometimes when you flush the toilet, it comes out of the shower, which is obviously unpleasant. Um, stuff is sort of flushing slowly but surely. I think the problem is, is it's like, because what would happen is the toilet would get blocked and I'd flush that like four times to clear the blockage and the blockage would clear, but then it would move along and oh, I don't know. So yeah, I need to get a plumber out, hopefully going to do that on Monday. Um, and in the meantime, I'm not sure how this shower is going to go that I need to take because I don't know if the water is going to go down the drain. I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, I have put some stuff down the sink that's designed to unblock it as well, so we'll see how that goes. I have like 10 pages of the Moonstone left by Wilkie Collins, so I'm hoping to finish that before I go out. Um, then I am probably going to read this bad boy, which is uh, The Tragedy of the Sith Revenge by Ian Dersher, William Shakespeare's Star Wars. So this is one of the Star Wars, uh, the Shakespeare style plays based on the Star Wars films. Um, and then once I've read that, I should be ready to pick up the next Wizard of Oz book which I don't know what it is. I have got a couple up here. Which ones have I got? It must be, oh okay, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, number four. And then I think number five is The Road to Oz. So I have both of those ready. Um, so yeah, it'll be Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz will be next. Doing these every two weeks um, with uh, Joel Swagman. So it's kind of funny because since the last one of these that I read, I think I've only read uh, the mystery of Secret of Crickley Hall or whatever and the Moonstone, but both of those are pretty long reads, so I'm down with that. Um, that's where I'm at. Just gonna be productive and stuff till I have to go to this wedding. I might get really drunk and fuck everything up. That's what I normally do at weddings. We'll see. All right, you can see the heat coming off this. I made a curry. It is um, potato and broccoli curry with onion and ginger rice, pishwari naan homemade, poppadoms, mango chutney and homemade onion salad and I'm fucking excited. Yo, it is um, quarter past nine on Sunday the 7th of November. I'm a little bit hungover. I spent like 50 quid yesterday. It was a good time though. I didn't do any vlogging or take any photos because there were professional photographers there so 
I was intimidated by the size of the lenses. Um, it was a good old time, so it was at Wickham Museum, my friend Sophie and Dave. Um, so yeah, that was good, lovely little wedding, there was some vegan food there, uh, Fran was there from the art centre and my friend Amanda was there as well, so there were some people I knew. Plus bumped into somebody, a singer-songwriter who um, I know from, um, he's been on, he's had some of his music on my radio show. So uh, it was good to sort of chat to him. And uh, weirdly, Fran knew his girlfriend as well. So I knew him, Fran knew her. So we had a nice little chat, did a bit of dancing. Uh, it was like a very rock and roll wedding. Like they're into like metal and stuff like that. So yeah, their first dance was like heavy metal music and stuff. It was, it was a good one. Um, but yeah, I, I drank quite a lot. And as I say, spent like 50 quid on booze. So there's that, but um, had a good time. Um, and then today, I woke up this afternoon barely able to move. Um, and then I made a curry, which was very nice. Um, I think I took some footage of the curry because I wanted to show it off. Um, and then I dropped some of that off to my friend Sabrina's place because uh, she's vegan as well. So we sort of make each other or share food with each other. So I traded some of my curry for some of her cottage pie, which I have in the fridge and I will eat tomorrow and I'm excited about. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow at the art centre um, with a guy who's a web developer, so it's to hopefully get a, um, a new danecobain.com made. So I'm going to chat to him about that and talk money and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I am skint, but hey ho. Hopefully we can. I mean, his charge for a web his charge for a website build is a thousand pounds, which is a fair old amount. But I mean, it, for me, it can be a business expense. Um, and I'm hoping we can do something where I might pay him like £100 a month for six months and then give him 500 quid worth of um, time so that I can do some writing work for him or something. So we will see. Um, what have I been reading? Oh, I've, I've been reading uh, The Tragedy of the Sith Revenge by Ian Dersher. So this is like a William Shakespeare Star Wars book. And I'm going to watch um, the, Sith, the Revenge of the Sith or whatever. I'm going to watch that later, even though I think I only have it in French. Um, so that should be good. And yeah, I'm just sort of coping with my hangover as best as I can. <laughs> Did some music earlier, that was good. Yeah. But anyway, that seems like a good place to leave this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.